Hi folks, this is Sheldon with Wheelay Designs. Today I'm going to show you some things that I've done. Um, I have here some DIY things. This is my boom stick for indoors and this is my blimp for outdoors. Now, I looked around, I shopped online and you know, see how much these things will cost. Now, Rogue makes a really nice wind blimp and they're listed at $2.99. I figured I could do something myself for a lot cheaper. I'm going to show you in this video how I was able to make my own blimp for less than 40 bucks. We're gonna go in double time here. What I did was I took the coffee made as my template and rolled it around the mesh wire so I can kind of get an idea of well, what size I wanted to make that diameter. Then I squeezed out the coffee made after I was finished and taped it up with some duct tape. So there I have my nice round cylinder. Take about, I don't know, maybe four feet of wire and I just start to thread it through the mesh took a lot, a lot of work there but it happened so we're speeding it up just so you can see uh, basically I just went in and out I didn't go through each loop I kind of spread it out and it still held it pretty nice and then I went back the other way once I finished going one way and then I just pulled it as tight as I po possibly could and we just make sure it's tight And I took my wire cutters, trimmed off the end, and then I twisted those ends together and folded it inside. There we have a nice tightly fitting thing there. Then I used some good old fashioned bobby pins that I had around the house for uh, just to hold in those rubber bands. So I take those bobby pins and I use a flathead screwdriver to kind of help with getting those rubber bands inside. I made sure that I started in the middle first so that way I could easily access those rubber bands uh, when I was threading them through. So once I finished the middle then I went ahead and started on both ends so I actually had three rows of rubber bands and those rubber bands there were two in each section and so as you can see I have those three sections there with two rubber bands on each section then I took some spare mesh that I had and I just kind of folded it over one end of the blimp and then I took a three inch clamp and pulled it over just to hold everything down and then I tightened it up with the flathead screwdriver. Next I took some scissors and I just kind of trimmed off that extra edges there. And there we have our finished blimp. It's not the best looking thing but I figured well I'm going to cover it up with fur, fur anyway. So I'm not a sewer but my wife is and so I had her make a nice pattern for me and yes she did sew by hand she still beasted it out good job on that shout out to my wife for that all right so it's finished let's take a look at what we've done this is my blimp this is my homemade dead cat as you can see it has velcro I don't know if you can see that from there, but there's Velcro on the inside, and it has a nice little cover. This is an Audio Technica microphone. I'm gonna thread it through my blimp, and then I'll put my cover on.
There we go. And it's nicely suspended inside. And those rubber bands keep it from touching the side, so that looks pretty good. And now I'm just gonna put my top on, my dead cap. There you have it. Got my blimp.